So, John, can you just tell me why you've wrote this book about the history of Newcastle? Well, first of all, I was asked to do it by, uh, by the editor from Tynebridge Publishing, but uh, the idea behind it, oh, it just is exactly what I'm interested in. I love this town. I moved here in 1970, lived here ever since. I'm passionate about it. I think it's got character personality of a really intense nature and I was interested to explore that. So is there any particularly colourful characters you came across during writing the book? Do you know I don't know I don't know how you can ask that question these are Geordies we're talking about it's the book is packed with really offbeat and splendid characters. I love the sort of radical people in the, name. in the 18th century, for example, Thomas Spence, who believed that everything should be held in common and who had fights with his fellow radicals, uh, with Thomas Buick, the, the, the great engraver, the two of them fought with cudgels over political matters. I love all of those sort of people. The great historian who was called Aeneas Mackenzie, who was also a leader of the, the, the move towards uh, a universal suffrage in, in 1832. Great people all through the story. So just finally, what do you think of Newcastle as a city? It is so varied, so lively. It's existed uh, since for 2,000 years. It's existed properly since 1080 AD when the Normans founded it. And it's got stuff from every one of those periods, all jumbled together, uh, absolutely rich and varied and brilliant.